Senate Majority Leader Alan Peter Cayetano now also wants Vice President Jejo Marbinay to face the Senate investigation into the alleged overpriced Makati City Hall parking building. In this hearing, you will be satisfied that we all treated you fairly. But I hope you understand, Mayor, no? if your father wants to be president, just like any one of us in this room, anything na ibato sa atin, obligasyon natin sa tao, sabutin, hindi sabihin politika lang to and everything. So at this point, I don't know the protocol if you can invite the Vice President, etc. But marami kang hindi nasagot dahil panon niya. Let me just say that personally, I'm open for him to come here and to explain to the public. In the same manner na nung magkasama kami sa kalye, tinitira niya si President Arroyo, magpaliwanag ka, pumunta ka sa Kongreso. Presidente na yun, ha? Siya, hindi pa siya Presidente, Vice President pa lang siya. So I think, Mr. President, uh, Mr. Chairman, let's be fair. Makapunta dito, this is all explained, then we will owe them an apology kung sinong gumawa nung, uh, nung resolusyon. But what if it's true? And if it's true, it can mean that either of two things, kumita sila, or pwede din yung kanina, na hindi nila alam, yung mga nasa ilalim pala nila, eh, kumikita na yung everything. But but Senator Aquino Coco Pimentel III, who presided over the hearing, said he would rather finish first the testimonies of other witnesses before inviting the Vice President to the hearing. Pwede siyang imbitahin in the future, uh, but hindi muna sa Tuesday, para maklaro na muna lahat ng issues. So, pag, pag, uh, pag, uh, pag let's say, pumunta si Vice, May, uh, Vice President Binay, uh, direct to the point na tayo on your issues. Because there is nothing insulting about inviting somebody, especially if his name has been mentioned in a negative light. So, mas gusto pa nga niyang i-invite siya para he will have the opportunity to also explain. This is Francis Mangosing, Inquire.net.